So now let's see uh, what are the various connections, mainly the control connection which form between uh, V edges and the controllers or between controllers, right? So I will show you all uh, these control connections on command line. So just wait a minute. We will go to secure CRT and let's see. Let me clean the screen. Yeah. So right now we are on V Smart One, and here you can see if I do, and yes, we can also discuss about the OMP pairing, right? So you do not need to create neighbors in OMP as we discussed earlier, right? Uh, once there is a control connections between V Smart between uh, V Smart and VH, then there uh, there is automatically neighborship formed over OMP. You do not need to define this neighborship as in other products. For example, in VGP, you need to define uh, your peer, right? So that between peer, there is a TCP connection over which VGP exchange routes. You do not need to do this here. So if I show you uh, what are the various peers for this vSmart, vSmart1, uh, the command is uh, show OMP peers and yes as you can see that we have two uh, edges right which you can see right here uh, this one is 1.1 1 .1, which is site 1 uh, vh1 and this is site 2 vh2 and here we have 192.168.99.32, which is uh, the other V smart, right? So we have three OMP pairings here. Similarly, if if we go to uh, V edges, right? If we go to V edges, and I run the same command here, show. Just wait, my control is somewhere else. Yeah. So show OMP peers. Yes. And we could see that dot 31, 192.168.99.31 and dot 32 are my V smart devices. So V edges make uh, yeah, OMP pairing with these two V smarts. Right. It's simple. Now let's discuss what are the various control connections between these devices so we are in v vh1 and we will make control connection with v smart v bond and v bench right so let's see so if i do show control connections and yes as you can see that we have two dtls connection with dot 31 and dot 32 which is my v smart and one DTLS connection with dot 11, which is the V manage. And it is okay that we do not have a connection with V bond and the permanent connection with V bond, because as we discussed that the connection between V edge and V bond is just a transient one, right? Or not a permanent one. And the reason is when V edge comes up, it context with v bond to get information about the v smarts and v manage and other controllers or um, right so that uh, basically it can communicate with v manage and v smart for uh, for for other routing information so the connection with v bond is not permanent and that's why we are not seeing it but the connection with v smart and v manage is permanent between v edges and these controllers so this is up to what we have uh, discussed till now if you look into v smart let's see what control connection it has formed so if i give a command here show control connection and yes we could see that there are we can see that there are uh, dtls connection with vh both of the VHS. Then we have DTLS connection with V Smart. We have 
DTLS connection with vBond and vManage. Right? This is simple and as per what we have discussed till now. So this is all about connections and we can see all these connections here also in, in UI. Right? So right now I am in vManage and as you can see the control connections are four and it is corresponding to these four devices right so at site one vh1 we have two control connections towards the you know, vsmart right so this is good this is good with respect to what we have learned till now right so Now let's say uh, let's have a discussion uh, about templates and what we are going to do here is right now uh, as you can see in this topology we have configured the controllers we have configured the VHS but on VHS we have configured till this point means VPN zero part is done we need to configure uh, uh, the service side of the VPN. So what I'll do is I will choose I, I will I will do the service side VPN from templates. Right? As we discussed, template is for uh, the configuration ease, right? If you want to push the same type of configuration to say many devices across our SD WAN uh, fabric, uh, then it is easier to define uh, the templates and then push all those templates to the respective devices so template configuration is done on vManage vManage will push those com uh, templates configuration to directly to VHS okay so let's define uh, so so the overall activity what we want to do uh, right now to template is we will define the service side of VH1 and VH uh, side to VH1 so that this will be able to communicate with this device. So I will make this interface gigabit 0 slash 1 interface of uh, VH1 as the default gateway for this laptop and the subnet which we are going to use in site 1 is 10.1.1.0 and in site 2 it is 10.1.2.0 right so here the the default gateway for this laptop user will be gigabit 0 slash 1 interface of vh1 which is 10.1.2.1 right so once it is done once we have defined the service side of these two sites what OMP will do, it will advertise this 10.1.1.0 route into the SD WAN fabric, right? Here and here. And once it is done, site 1 VH1 means this edge router will receive the route for site 2 uh, ID 200, which, which means that site 1 VH1 here. You will see the route 10.1.2.0 24 as OMP route, and here in this site you will see the route 10.1.1.0 24. Right? Simple enough. So we are just trying to exchange routes over this SD WAN overlay which we are forming. Right? Once it is done, you would be seeing that there is a direct tunnel between site 1 and site 2 this is the tunnel over which we will be forming uh, the data plane which means that if i ping from site 1 to site 2 this is going to be go over this ipsec tunnel which form between these two vhs right so through mp we will be redistributing or you can say uh, through OMP we'll, we will be advertising and receiving the routes and through IPsec tunnel we will be actually sending the data okay this is simple so 
let's complete uh, our first template where we will be defining uh, the service side of this uh, of the VHS. Okay. So here we will go into configuration, then templates. And here you can see two different type of templates like device template and feature templates which we have discussed already so first we will define the feature templates and then we will configure our device template from all those feature templates okay so here let's go to features and just to add template we need to define the template for uh, our own software platform which is which is VH Cloud, right? And um, as you can see, when I, when I selected this cloud, what are the configuration associated with this uh, platform? Uh, you can see on the right hand side here, right? This is cool. So I need to define basically uh, two things here, right? I need to define uh, a new VPN, maybe we can say VPN 10, and then associate an interface to it okay so we will be defining uh, uh, interfaces we will be defining a new vpn and along with that uh, if i don't push configuration for vpn 0 and vpn 5 network uh, it will wipe out the uh, configuration which we have access which uh, which uh, so it will wipe up the existing configuration. So I need to define VPN 0. I need to define VPN 512, just like what we have right now. And then we need to define the VPN, uh, new VPN, which is VPN 10. If, say that is a corporate VPN. Okay, so let's define. First of all, uh, I am defining few interfaces. Okay. So template name uh, say this is VPN 